We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support here and test key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 10:10 10, 10 a.m. sent out a bull indicator, and from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside. Full strength on 42 vision and call options went up. 250 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing to fight and hold support and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow and what's going on within the charts but before we do i want to share with you guys the home up tune that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the homer today was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the homer today was from our tesla bot our tesla bot at 10 15 a.m sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward Outflows cross the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 80% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators. Getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump to these charts here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing to do full transitions here from bright green bars to red bars and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, back under a bull indicator here on the 30-minute chart at the 533.74 level, canceling out that bear indicator from 534.60 back on Friday. Now, we could see the volatility and chop here in this tight range between 533 and 537 of bull and bear indicators, but here it is fighting to get back above that resistance that we were watching of 535 and trying to hold above it and we want to see this hold this strength right and roll those inflows over with it which we're going to pull up in just a moment and not only that but on the spy we want to see the one hour continue to hold strength which we're going to pull up in just a moment as well but it wasn't the only stock pushing up you have the qqq here back under a bull indicator at 462 Tesla was dropping, going the opposite direction, but it's hit a dip area and a critical support here based off the history of the chart. So I would not ignore these levels down here near 172 and 173. Apple was dropping all day as well, back down to a critical area of support from way back here on June 3rd at the 192 level. And then you also have here Netflix doing the opposite, right? Finding support and pushing up with the QQQ and SPY under a bull indicator here since the 640 area now when we zoom out on the spy and look at this from the one hour we could see here the bear indicator getting canceled out as well 
a bull indicator is trying to close and confirm and pop up here at the 534.95 area. I would just round that up to 535 and it still has 12 minutes to go, right? It needs to close and confirm to hold that bull indicator true. If not, if it breaks through key support levels, this bull indicator may disappear, right? It still has 12 minutes to go here on the one hour bar. Now, on the one hour chart, it is up here near key resistance levels, and we do not want to ignore the fact that it rejected off 536. That's where things slowed down on Friday before coming back down towards 532 and the 533 area. Now, it found support there, and if we see in the volatility of the 15 minute, it canceled out that bear indicator from 533 with a bull indicator at 533.55, and it broke above the pre-market highs of 533.90. So definitely something to not ignore because that was the resistance of the aftermarket hours on Friday. That same level there near 533.90, broke out above it, used it as support, and continued a staircase effect here. Now, we want inflows to follow. I'm going to pull them up here so we can break down these charts and see the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow here we are with the spy the s p 500 index on the 30 minute with inflows picking up here in the first half of the day and finally crossing and once it crossed over and inflows hit highs up here of 2.39 towards the end of the day we started to see that momentum start to pick up break through key resistance levels of 533 535 and here it is fighting to stay above it heading towards 535.50 and the highest point was 536 in the day. Now, when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we can also see here how inflow sharply rise, and they're continuing that upward momentum there, as you see it, at 3.81 so far, and we wanna see this continue with that staircase effect here in the bigger picture and hold that bull indicator true and roll that strength over into tomorrow, right? Now, in the volatility of the 15 minute, we could see here, zoomed in, how outflows tried to dominate in the first half of the day in the pre-market and going into the open. That's the drop that we saw from 533 down towards 532.50. And quickly, inflow started to pick up. And once that resistance of 533.90 was broken through, that's nearly where the inflows picked up, started to take over, and we started that staircase effect to the upside here into the end of the day right and hitting those highs of 536 now in the volatility while the stock is going upwards we are having a divergence of outflow starting to begin and trying to cross to the downside now inflows are still positive at 0 0.006 this is nearly the midpoint right there if it crosses to the downside it could quickly start to reflect weakness into these charts and the first support level is 534.50. And then below that is 533. And then comes the 530 level as the supports that I'll be watching to the downside if that weakness rolls over from the 15 minute into the 30 minute and pulling it downwards as well. Now to the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical for this staircase effect to continue. Retest the high of the day of 536. Get those inflows to pick up from red to green pulling upwards away from the midpoint, roll it over into the 30 minute and one hour. And then the next resistance above 536 is 537. In this tight range, if both of those get broken through, then I'll be watching the 540 area. So these are the key levels I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. The bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows. I would not ignore them as they're above on the 30 minute and one hour and really close there to the midpoint in the volatility of the 15 minute, and it needs to switch from red to green. As always guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.